Hello, gardeners. I'm sorry I'm late. I meant to post this yesterday, but I got so busy that I just forgot. Here are my Chandler muscadines that I moved that were in the middle of my food forest, and I thought it would be a good idea if I can move them closer to the fence where they can wrap around this garden seat. So I'm going to try to coax them to do that. And also, here's a short video of Bree and I watching a large black bumblebee feasting off of the flowers on my tree collards. I just love nature. I think all gardeners do. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now. I've been very busy this week, either pottying up or transplanting my seedlings in the ground. Those are tulips and daffodils coming up that I got at the dollar store. And they're very pretty. And there you see a strawberry bed. Here is a majority tomato and spinach bed. Here I planted some of the seedlings that I grew in the house this winter. Tomatoes and peppers and basil and marigolds. And those are some uh, plugs of strawberries that I'm going to fill in the missing pieces. You'll see later on in a video where I completed that task. Here are just a few shots of a lot of the transplants that I had to I had in the house. I had to hurry up and get them in the ground. Here I'm showing you how I got stakes from Home Depot to uh, brace up the tomatoes because we have very high winds up to about 21 miles an hour during this time of the year. That's basil that I uh, kept alive in my kitchen garden. Pardon me, I'm sorry, pa parsley. And here you can see I actually put those strawberries I mentioned earlier inside of the bed and put a couple California zinnias there to attract bees. I also picked up a few fencing uh, pieces for 99 cents at the dollar store and I left the tags on them so my grandchildren can take them off. That gives them something to do because the first thing they do when they get to Big Mama's house is, can we help you in the garden? So I try to leave things like those empty watering cans for them to fill up. It's just something for them to do. My fruit orchard is coming along nicely. Almost all of the trees are putting on leaves. And I have extra tomato, borage, and pepper plants in case we suddenly get a freeze. Those are my fig trees that I grew from uh, pencil cuttings. I rooted them and potted them several times, and I'm getting ready to repot them again because they uh, need a lot of room. They, uh, they need a lot of water. And those are my uh, Texas Star Hibiscus. I make tea out of those. I have everything, guys. Cantaloupe, watermelon, everything growing. Those are the pots that I'm going to put the uh, fig trees in. They look small, but I assure you they're four gallons. I was able to put stakes in the grapes today to brace them up. I haven't decided exactly where they're going to uh, be. Here's corn salad. Looks like it's getting ready to go to seed. I'm probably will harvest it all in the next few days. Radish, watermelon, and red, regular cherry radish is doing good. Um, I got to leaf mulch everything. I'll probably do that when my grandbaby gets picked up by my son-in-law today. She won't be in the way. And the only thing left in that bed from winter is the Swiss chard, a few beets, and also some fava beans. Right there, I planted some uh, celery and a few other flowers, zinnias and nestriums. And coming up, more California zinnias and okra. I put it all on that outer edge to the right. That way it'll be easy for me to harvest it. And now I'm just going to pan around and show you that row of zinnias again. And next to it, I planted some rainbow glass corn. And it's a little yellow, so I'll be giving it some nitrogen pretty soon. Probably fish emulsion. 
and those are some beats I'm wait, waiting to get a little bit bigger. Okay, so that concludes a portion of my food forest tour. I will show you some other stuff in a few days. Thanks for watching. Bye now.